In the remote areas of Malika Valley, North Kivu, in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, where Edith rebels have been surviving and thriving, Malika has been a food basket for Edith for 15 years. On many occasions, they forced Congolese farmers to pay 50% of their produce to avoid being killed. Major General De Colum, the Operation Suja Commander, directed the Brigade Commander 301 Brigade, Lieutenant Colonel Jet Liabe, to deploy forces in the general areas of Malika Valley to foil ADF attacks. The 15th Battalion, commanded by Major Agaba Winston, took on the mantle in Malika Valley and along Isale Hills. Heavy and multiple bombardments followed from different sides. <laughs> The 15th Battalion under Winston Agaba, Brigade Headquarters under Lieutenant Colonel Jet Liabe, and 1st Battalion under Major Mbawuta deployed troops on the other side, which eventually suffocated the ADF. In the battle along River Talia, ADF lost a number of fighters. Those who survived surrendered to the 15th Battalion Ford Base with guns loaded. Mohise Olivier, 13 years, Jakiso Patrick, 12 years, and Safari Jeremy, 14, among those who survived and surrendered with three SMG guns. After their capture, subjected to interrogations, but later accepted to lead and guided intelligence to the enemy hideouts in the areas of River Taria, Talingati, Mamaluta and Kauma, where the ADF was again engaged in a fruitful and successful battle. <laughs> Moise Olivier, 13 years, Jackson Patrick, 12 years, and Safari Jeremy, 14, the captives, revealed that the ADF had a devastating effect on young children who are frequent target for abduction. The trio claims that they were abducted from Busei and Malongo and were recruited into the ADF against their will to carry out atrocities. They were confident and strong when asked anything about the war. Others have come out without guns. So this has been the sign of pressure that the UPDF has exerted on them. And I'm so sure in the next seven days there will be more to that. There may be a lot of defections that uh, will come in place and uh, we expect to get more of these defections and of course that will be an achievement for us and once they come out these kids give us a lot of intelligence and this intelligence is what we use to look for these guys and decimate them wherever they are the majority of these young adf soldiers are congolese who managed to escape but struggle with emotional trauma or violence they were exposed to the operation suja command structure has the obligation to rehabilitate these former combatants into ordinary life. Haruna Mtesa Sida reporting in Eastern Congo.